So the next series I'm going to do is college basketball stories. And the first team I'm going to do is Arizona State. Uh, in 2000, they ended up losing their first seven conference games. And they missed the tournament. But 2001... They're going to play Arizona in the first round of the Pac-10 tournament. And they lost. So 2002, they make it back to the Pac-10 tournament. And they lose to Oregon. But they still ended up going to the NCAA tournament. There, they're going to beat Memphis in the first round and lose to Kansas. Just a quick disclaimer that when I, if I say first round, I'm not referring to the playing games. I typically, I am typically going to refer to the round of 64. And the second round will usually be the round of 32. 2003, they won two of their last 11 games and they missed the tournament. 2004, they're in the Pac-10 tournament. They lose to Washington. In overtime, they went to the NIT tournament, and they're going to lose to UNLV in the first round. Meanwhile, 2005, they go into the Pac-10 tournament. They lost to Oregon State by three points in the first round. 2006, they make it back to the Pac-10 tournament. They're going to lose to Washington in the first round. 2007, back in the Pac-10 tournament. This time, they lose to USC. They end up going to the NIT, and they beat Alabama State. I like this picture because Alabama State thinks they're ASU. But, uh, the Sun Devils are kind of ASU. They're the bigger ASU, the better ASU. And they kind of showed Alabama State. So then they're going to go to the next round. They beat Southern Illinois Saluskis in the second round. So they make it to the quarterfinals against Florida. And there, they're going to lose. So 2008, they're in the Pac-10 tournament again. They beat Arizona in the first round. And then they beat Washington in the second round. Then they meet USC again. And then they're going to end up losing by three. They do make the NCAA tournament. They beat Temple. And then the second round, they face Syracuse. They end up losing there in the round of 32. So they're, 2009, they're back in the Pac-10 tournament. They lose to Stanford. And we're in the first... They make the NIT tournament, but they lose. They make the NIT tournament, but they lose to Jacksonville. So, 2010, they go up against Oregon in the first round of the Pac-10 tournament. They lose, and they, towards the end of next year, 2011, there's really no information about the conference tournament. I believe they ended up losing to Stanford, but what I do know is that they go 1-7 and seven towards the end of the year, which of course is never good. 2012, they're in the Pac-12 tournament now, because unlike the Big Ten or Big 12, the Pac-12, the Pacific Conference actually changes their name based on, Pacific Conference actually changes their name based on how many teams are in there. So they beat Sanford in overtime in the first round. They face off against UCLA in the second round of the Pac-12 tournament. They lose by five. 
They make the NCAA tournament. And then the first round, they end up beating Detroit, so they face Baylor in the round of 32. And they end up losing by three. 2013, they're going to go 11-2 and two in non-conference play. They go up against Stanford, and they lose in the quarterfinals of the Pac-12 tournament. So they go to the NCAA tournament. In the round of 64, they lose to Texas. So 2014, they're going into the... Pac-12 tournament again. They lose by three against USC. Seems like they keep doing that. Like, keep losing by three against the Trojans. They make the NIT tournament, and they're going to end up beating UConn. So they go to the second round. They go to overtime against Richmond, and they lose. Because Richmond evidently thinks they're Spider-Man. 2015, they're 10 and 3 in non-conference play. They then go 5 and 13 in conference play. And they're gonna lose to Oregon State in the first round of the Pac-12 tournament. So 2016, first round of the Pac-12 tournament, they face off against Stanford. And they beat Stanford in overtime in the first round. So in the Pac-12 quarterfinals, they go up against Oregon, and they lose. All right, so 2017, just last year, I I didn't I didn't really talk about the pre the like early regular season basketball tournaments because those are kind of random. They don't really mean anything, but this is a special case. They beat Xavier in the Las Vegas Invitational Championship, so they got to win something. And they went 12-0 and in non-conference play. They were even number three at one point. And they go 8-10 and in conference play. They lose to Colorado in the first round of the Pac-12 tournament. They do get into the NCAA tournament in a play-in game, and they lose to Syracuse by four. And that that's and that that's all you need to know. That's what happened.